Hey, thank you for coming back and watching another one of my videos. And today I'd like to talk to you about another USB microphone. And it's this one here. This is the JLab GoTalk USB microphone. And it's quite simple. Uh, of course, you do get easy to read and understand directions inside the box. You also get the cable, which by the way, on one end is USB type C. On the other end, it's USB type A. Of course, you get the microphone. You get a nice little stand. And you get these two little things. This is kind of like a rubber plug, if you will. And this one is kind of a microphone adapter. And I'll get to that in a little while. Now, the microphone has a sample rate of 96 kilohertz. It's 20 four bit and it has two condensers on the inside. Basically that means kind of uh, two microphones on the inside. You got two patterns, omnidirectional and cardioid. Omnidirectional means it comes from all around. Cardioid means it'll come straight from the front. Okay. Uh, the cable is five foot in length. Uh, sorry that I don't have the metric measurement on that, but it is five foot. Uh, the frequency response is 20 to 20 or 20, 20, uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is compatible with Windows 7 and higher. The Mac operating system 10.10 .10 or higher. Now let's take a look a little bit around here on the front. This is your volume knob. It's also your mute switch. Um, to mute, you just simply press in and out, and to do your gain or volume, you just simply turn it. This is also how you change the cardioid uh, patterns or the two different types of microphone patterns. This one here that kind of looks almost like a heart or a bug, if you will, that's the cardioid. And on this side, the circle means it's omnidirectional. It already comes pre-installed on this bracket, and I don't see a way to take it off, and I wouldn't advise that. And on the back, you got your headphone jack, and there's the USB Type-C port. And I didn't really notice any latency in here at all when I was using it, so that's pretty cool. Now it's mainly made out of plastic and it has this nice cloth covering on it and I think it looks pretty pretty nice actually. The stand and if you by the way if you notice on this bracket it's kind of slanted a little bit when you get it out of the box. It's a little bit of a, a bit on a slant. Now on the base it's all metal. You see this little clip? Well you simply slide it in here like that you'll and if you also notice on here there's a hole and there's a hole on the bottom of the base plate you line them up and you take the little rubber piece and basically you jam it in there to keep it in place this is a nice little foam rubber pad so it'll stay nice on your desk and I'm not too crazy about this little bit of a way to mount this microphone to the base plate because it's really hard to get this rubber piece in here. And once you finally do it's flat, at first when I first tried this thing, one end would always stick up so it would kind of wobble. But I guess after a good amount of times taking it in and take, putting it in, putting it out and mounting it, it's finally going in straight. And pretty much that's it. That's how it looks. And now um, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna plug it in and let you hear it. Then after the test video, I'm gonna show you how to use this little adapter to mount it to either, a, this little hole will let you mount it to a tripod mount, like this little nice little Manfrotto Pixie, 
or you got a 5 8 inch screw on the other end to fit it on a microphone stand, which by the way, I don't have, so I'm just gonna be able to show you the tripod mount. So give me a moment and I'll be right back. Oh, uh, before we get to the test video, <laughs> I should have said this earlier. Um, I'm not wearing a lapel mic for a couple of reasons. Well, for the main reason that you are hearing the audio coming from my laptop microphones and of course the laptop webcam. And I am using the camera app that's built into Windows to record this video. And the reason why I don't, I'm not wearing a lapel mic is because I want you to hear what the laptop microphones sound like compared to this microphone. Okay, now let's get to the test video. Okay, now you are hearing audio coming from the JLab GoTalk microphone. It's currently about a good 15 inches away from me, and yes, the microphone is turned up all of the way right now. Um, and I'm talking in the cardioid pattern. So what I'm going to do now is flip it to omnidirectional, and I'm going to stay quiet to see if there's any noise from switching from cardioid to omnidirectional. Okay, so now I'm talking, uh, or the JLab microphone is now in omnidirectional mode. You, obviously, the audio is going to sound a little bit different compared to cardioid. So right now you can see this little green light right there. That means it's on and it's active. The gain knob, it's an infinite turn, meaning it doesn't stop either way. So if I just quickly turn it all the way, you see that how it blinked that one time? Okay, now. Let me explain what just happened. Keep your eye on this green light. Right now, this microphone is turned up all the way. I'm going to turn it the opposite way so it goes all the way down. You'll see this little green light right here flash one time. Okay, now that it's turned up a little bit more, when I turn it all the way up, you're going to see this light flash. I think it's three times. Now that's up all the way. Now of course the other reason why I'm showing you it this way is to see if there's any handling noise coming through the mic from me touching it and twisting it around. And of course I'm doing this thing here, twisting the microphone around and still talking to let you hear the omnidirectional microphone uh, pattern. Now I'm going to put it back to cardioid. Now it's strictly in cardioid pattern, so let's test that out. And I'm just going to keep talking and I'm going to turn it to one side. Then I'm going to turn it towards the back of the microphone. And then I'm going to turn it towards the other side of the microphone. And then finally back to the front. So you can hear the difference in differences between the omnidirectional and the cardioid pattern. Let me get it back into omnidirectional. Now, if you notice this microphone right here, or the light right here on the microphone, it's green. And I said if you press this in, it's going to turn, uh, it's going to turn red when the microphone is muted. So let me do that now. There you go, that's the mute function. The other thing this does is, um, it's also for the headphone volume. And if you press and hold the button, this green light will turn blue. Now that's the microphone function of the, uh, or the headphone volume, which is back here. and you press and hold it again for it to be green and that means now that the microphone is active. Now I'm going to set this down. Let me make okay, it's still turned up all the way. I'm going to turn it down a few clicks. 
I turned it down five physical clicks because you can actually feel the clicks um, when you're turning the knob. Now we're going to do the proximity effect. What the proximity effect is, is the farther away the microphone is from your mouth, it's not going to sound as deep or as warm. But as you kind of get closer and closer to the audio source right now, which is me, the audio should sound a little bit warmer and deeper. And that's called the proximity effect. And that was the test of the proximity effect. So let me set this back down again. And I'm going to turn the microphone up <clears throat> all the way, which it is. So now what I'm going to do is stay quiet. I'm going to turn the microphone volume all the way down and then all the way back up again just to see if there's any noise that's coming through. Okay, it's turned back up all the way. Um, so that's pretty much it for the test of this microphone. Let me turn it down just a wee little bit. Um, and I'm still an omnidirectional. Oh, you know what? I forgot to test it in cardioid pattern, didn't I? Okay, so let's test the proximity effect in the cardioid pattern. So it's at arm's length away from me. And I'm going to slowly bring it in as I'm talking so you can see the difference of the proximity effect in the cardioid pattern. And I'm probably about a good three to four inches away. And I turned it down a little bit because it was probably sounding kind of horrible. Turned up all the way this close to my mouth. Okay, let me set this down. Turn it up all the way again. Now, one thing I did forget to mention about this microphone, and it goes with any microphone. Right now, it's about a good 13, 14 inches away from me with the gain turned up all the way. Um... I turned it down three physical clicks because I don't because that's just the way I am um, when you bring a microphone closer to you uh, you should physically talk slightly quieter than you normally would the reason for it is because you don't want to overload the sound going into the microphone to get any distortion first of all secondly you want to get rid of the, as much of the plosives as possible. Plosives are like the P's, T's, S's, things of that nature. So when you talk a little bit quieter when the microphone is within a few inches of you, of your mouth that is, you're going to kind of reduce the plosives a little bit. Okay, so that concludes the test part of this microphone. Let's get back to the review and my final thoughts. So I hope you enjoyed the test video or the test part of this video of the JLab Go Talk USB microphone. Okay, so let's get into how to mount this. I already showed you how to mount it onto the plate that it comes with. So let's mount it onto a tripod. Yes, it's a mini desktop tripod. So what you're going to do, first of all, make sure that this part is straight if you have a ball joint. It's actually quite simple. You're just going to take this part with the hole in it, set it above the screw, just like that. See how it's kind of sticking out there? And then you see this little piece here with the little hole? You simply put it over the threads, and it'll screw on, and of course, and see? There you go. So if you wanted it raised up a little bit more, let me try to get it in shot here. Let me move the laptop a little bit more. So if you wanted it in more in shot, you can do it this way. Um, of course, you'll want to have this bent a little or angled so it's facing your mouth. You don't want to have it like this where it's not facing your mouth. You'll want to do it this way. Of course, you don't have to use a desktop tripod. You can use a desktop uh, microphone stand, which is uh, 5 eighths in diameter. And that's what the bigger part is, because I don't know how well my laptop camera is going to pick it up. But there's threads inside here. And that'll work for a microphone stand, and I don't have one. Well, I do, but I'm not going to be bringing in a full-size 
microphone stand here to work, <laughs> just to show you. But it, it does work. I did test it. And that's pretty much it for it. And that's how you mount it uh, multiple different ways. So what do I think of the JLab microphone, this one here? It's not bad. I actually kind of like it. Uh, it has a good tonal quality to it. I, To be honest, I'm not a big fan of how to mount this on here. I mean, sure, it's easy to slip in and throw that rubber plug in there to put it on your desktop. But like I said, at first, it was a little hard to get this in here because uh, in the beginning, it was sticking up a little bit kind of like that, how you can see it's sticking up a little bit right here. And it was a little bit wobbly. So I had to go in there by probably about a good half dozen to 10 times to finally get this to work right. Um, but it's it, it's doable. It, it's acceptable way to mount it. The way they did this, uh, I'm not too crazy about either. I wish that maybe they could have put some threads in. I mean, they could have done somehow attached this here. You know, like maybe like this, or I don't know. They could have attached it a little bit differently, so it could have been a little bit more versatile. My biggest complaint, though, about this microphone is the gain knob and how it's an infinite spin. Um, yes, the light flashes three times when you're up all the way, and it flashes once when you're down all the way. I just wished it would stop. Like when you turn when you turn this knob and the gain is all the way up, I wish it would stop. And then when you turn it down all the way, I wish it would stop. This whole infinite uh, spinning thing, it makes it harder for the user to get the right volume. I mean, because if you know where it's going to stop, it's a lot easier for you to put a little mark on here say you know like you know a little touch of a little dot of white out or nail polish or something and that way you can have a quick easy reference of oh i'm a little bit too high and then you can turn it down a little bit that would be a lot easier and i don't know why manufacturers are putting this infinite spin type of a rotary knob on there and it, it's yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cumbersome but it's still workable basically what I would suggest is you're going to have to make do some testing of your own, um, like use the camera app here in Windows, I guess, or OBS or whatever other streaming uh, software that you use. If you can record the video at the same time so you can play it back to test it out, that would be fantastic. But that's why I like using the camera app in Windows because I can stop it go back and listen to see how loud or how quiet it is so my what i'm trying to say is do a couple test videos do a, or just do a couple tests so you can have uh the right volume set before you go out and use it right away and then crank it up or do whatever um that's my advice otherwise yeah it's it's a really good microphone it's definitely going to improve your audio uh, it improved mine from off of these microphones built into my laptop compared to the to compared to this. So this is a hundred percent better than my laptop microphones. So in closing, do I recommend that you get the JLab Go Talk USB microphone? Yeah, it's a great microphone to get. It's nice and small. Yes, it is a little bit fiddly trying to mount it the way you want but make sure you maybe get like one of these this is the manfrotto pixie i think it's called the pixie mini or something and then that way you know you can have it setting a little bit higher if you want it a little bit higher um that's up to you but i would highly recommend you get this microphone it's a great microphone and if you happen to like this video please give it that thumbs up if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I mean, after all, it is free. And don't forget about that notification bell. It would really help me out a lot if you were to share this video, maybe a few more of my others, on all of your social media. And until the next video, you, your friends, your family, and even your pets, if you have them, you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.